All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about shafts, chinks, armidas, and any other way that you pronounce those. If you're new to this channel, this is the Startup Cowboy channel where we talk about all things cowboy, Western attire, basically anything that deals with cowboys and horses. So if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to this channel. So to get started, we're gonna talk about shafts. There's a lot of different questions about shafts that I've gotten personally ones that I've had myself and uh, some of them that I haven't even found an answer to. So we'll talk a little bit about that. So shafts, first of all, what are they? What's the purpose? So shafts are, shafts, chinks, armidas are just different names for leather leg coverings that cowboys use, horsemen use to keep their legs protected. I've heard a lot of other uses as well. Their origins go back way further than a lot of people think, all the way back to even like mountain men using um, versions based off of what Native Americans would use. So there's a lot of history on why they got started, um, but regionally it changes kind of what you do, whether it be your environment as far as brush and different things or just the climate itself. So we'll talk about that as we go. So the first category that I'm going to talk about are chinks. So chinks are leg coverings that go just to the knee or a little bit below. They do not go all the way down. Now, the only misconception there is typically there are there is fringe and they don't have to have fringe. And we'll talk about that as we go as well. But the fringe can extend down. So chinks themselves um, kind of started in Spanish culture. And in the difference between chinks and armidas usually are that there is an apron fringe or is an apron fringe on armidas. I've looked all over the internet to find out why there's apron fringe and I can't find anything. But in the spirit of talking about fringe, we'll talk about why it's there. So fringe itself, um, for the most part, I've heard and Googled and found out that it is there to shuck water off or let water run off of the shafts and not pool. If you could imagine shafts without a fringe and like a big um, side amount of leather, so like say this slick side, it would in theory over time start to fold over one way or the other and water, if it was coming down or snow, would pool there. So that's, that's the design. The other purpose for fringe that I've heard of is that if you ever break a rein or part of your saddle that is attached with a leather string, you can just rip that or cut that and use it. And if you look at some people's shafts that actually use them, I use shafts, not nearly as much as people who do it for a living. You'll see missing sections out of their shafts. And that's why you'll see in some um, parts of um, the country, the, the fringe is longer. So I'll go and show you my shotguns here in a minute. So these are chinks. They're short. They work really great. Great basin. Um, cowboys use them now. People um, where it's warmer, honestly, these you'll find in a lot of places, whether it's um, traditional or not. They're really great. Um, we'll talk about a few features on those as we go along. So the next one would be shotguns, which these are shotguns, but I'm going to show you my shotguns first here. So shotguns are very similar purpose. As you can see, they are much longer. They're going to go all the way down um, to the boot length. There's different builds of them. These are step-ins that also zip. So you step into there and then you zip this straight down. The cool part about this downward zip, if you want freedom in your lower leg, you can only zip, you can just zip it down a little bit. Um, but these are shotguns. So let me hold those up. Didn't hold up those chinks nearly as nice. So that's kind of what they look like. They work really good. Regionally, you'll see these just about everywhere, whether it be Northeast, Southwest. Um, the one thing that you will notice with these are they are warm. They do their job well. Um, so sometimes like in Texas and other hotter places, you won't see these, you will see bat wings. So the difference between this and a bat wing is almost, they're almost identical, but this part of this leather will come out wider and they're very similar to rodeo shafts and they're only, um, on the backside down to here. So this whole lower half is basically open. You can swing your leg back and forth. It's a lot cooler that way, but they're also riding through thicker brush. So they need a little bit more protection. So that would be the difference between a shotgun and a bat wing. So lastly, here's another set of just a different style of shotguns. And this is where we'll kind of transition into quality. And if you're ever looking to get into shafts or chinks or armidas, what to look for when it comes to quality. So these, this is just another set, you know, different style. You can see long fringe. These are also step-ins. So you'll see a little leg pocket and then a zipper to zip down. Um, these are just a lower quality. That doesn't necessarily mean they aren't functional. You'll see in the show world or places where they're not using ropes and heavier things against their shafts where they'll use these lighter ones. So it's just, it conforms to their body better. It's lighter weight. They don't need something that is super tough. The way you can tell the quality is the grade of leather. So you could take a caliper and find that that's pretty thin, but also the pliability. This is not going to take water well over time. Um, but also just how it's put together. So the belt mechanism on this 
is tied together, not stitched together. That's, I guess, good if you're trying to uh, make sure it fits lots of people. But this would be considered more of a show shaft than a working shaft. I'll go back to these shotguns here. Every part of this is built with extreme um, power and construction. Like, I mean, it's tight. Everything is sewed on there, sewn on there. There's rivets. There's parts, obviously, that you can adjust. But if something's going to break down, um, it's going to be a long time from now. The only spot, this is kind of where I'll end with our talk, is that's kind of cheap on a pair of shops and should be, is your center binder. Now, this guy, if you were wearing them and you were to get bucked off the front, you do not want that to hang up there and keep you up there because you will die. I can't tell you how many times that I've had really like three pieces across here. I didn't even think about it for the longest time. And I've never gotten a wreck that way. But once I realized that that was probably dumb, then I switched to this and it works really well. I'll show you just another way. A lot of them come this way um, where they have, you know, a nice buckle in the back and that's okay to have be strong. But the other ones come like this where it's a buckle. And so I've seen different people either cut this down the middle or cut, you know, just two things here because eventually you will want this to break. The good part about a buckle though, is once you do have that on there, in theory, if there's enough pressure, either that rivet's gonna break or something will, but if you're nervous, you can certainly augment that just to make sure that you are safe if you were to hang up with that. And so the very last thing I'm gonna show you is what this looks like if you were to buy kids ones. I think they're pretty cool. We just got these for my son. He hasn't seen them yet. When you're buying things um, for you know looks, obviously quality doesn't matter as much, but this is a really great um, mix of the two. Really great quality, great price, really cool looking shot, but obviously for kids, they're not gonna be working in them hard. So get them something that's comfortable, that looks good and something that they will uh, use for a long time. So that's kind of the overall on shops. There's a lot of questions that I haven't answered, um, probably that you have. So go ahead and put those in the comments. If you do know what the purpose of the fringe apron is on Armitas, I would love to know that. So if you like this video, once again, hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks.